NASA passes another critical milestone for its first mission to the moon. The Orion spacecraft made its closest approach to the lunar surface. It was just five days ago the Artemis One mission launched from the Space Coast to begin that journey. Good afternoon. Thanks for joining us. I'm Bridget Ellison. And I'm Justin Mormuth. News 6's Eric Von Aken joins us live from Kennedy Space Center with more on why this is so monumental and what comes next. Eric. Justin, this was a moment in time, a moment in history. We have not done anything like this in some half a century. I want to get right to the pictures because they were really hard to comprehend. So we sped up this video for you, but understand this video was being beamed back from the Orion spacecraft way far away from us, some 230 thousand miles away from planet Earth. You see planet Earth getting smaller and smaller. How far is that, by the way? It's about 23 trips from here to Australia. The moon, as you see, was getting bigger and bigger. You can start to see some of the dark spots of the moon as the Orion spacecraft was approaching. It's not touching down, but it got within 80 miles. Here's what the flight director said as he was taking it all in. This is uh, one of those days that you've been thinking about and dreaming about for a long, long time. And this morning, we just saw the Earth set behind the moon as we take the next human-rated vehicle around the moon, preparing to bring humans back there within a few years. This is, this is a game changer. There was a comms blackout, a communication blackout of about 34 minutes long, but then NASA was able to reacquire their signal, their tracking signal of Orion. So the idea is as it goes near the moon, it's, it's getting really close to grab some of that gravitational pull and slingshot it out into deep space way past the moon, farther than any human-rated spacecraft has ever been. And then it's just going to hang out there for about a week, orbiting the moon in that deep orbit to test itself so NASA can analyze, does this all work? Does Orion work and can we put people on next time? Then of course, a few days after that, Orion will head back, test out its heat shield, and if everything goes well, splash down on the Pacific Ocean. We're now live at the Kennedy Space Center, Eric Von Eich and getting results, News 6. A critical first step, thank you, Eric.